performed in front of huge crowds at Glastonbury. What's the reality like? I sang Maybe It's Time. It was insane. It was, cr it was crazy. Having gone there every year for the last six years, watching bands play, my favorite bands play on that stage, and then being able to be there. And uh, Chris Christopherson is the reason why, because he allowed us four minutes into his set. And, and then to be able to tell, say to the crowd afterwards, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Christopherson was, you know, if you told me that when I was 12, I would have thought you were crazy. Got to ask about The Shallows as well. This has just come out. It's a very emotive song. Yeah, it's a wonderful song that Lady Gaga wrote with Mark Ronson and two other writers. I really loved that song when she had first played it for me, and it was just finding out the best way to utilize in the movie and then the idea of maybe making it a duet instead, having it be the first time that he hears her sing a song that she's written uh, on the spot. So it really wound up being a real anchor for the whole movie. Did you get singing lessons for it? Oh yeah, for the movie? Oh yeah, Roger Love, this incredible vocal coach. I worked with him five days a week for months, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Lady Gaga's obviously an incredible singer. Did she give you any tips? The biggest thing that she offered me musically was encouraging me to follow whatever it is inside of me uh, that was that that would create Jackson and that musically and uh, that that was having somebody believe in you like in the movie i never thought i would be writing and arranging songs and and i think the only reason why i did is because she gave me the courage to do that did you do any karaoke together never any rap battles rap battles every day no <laughs> you were in a sex scene and a bath scene with lady gaga what's it like to direct that and be in it i only know being in movies so i found it very easy i actually thought that um I had an, an advantage of being on the field uh, while also orchestrating the, the shooting and the storytelling. So I, I found it to be a real um, benefit and much easier than rather than being on the sidelines. The bar scene, for example, are you directing, you know, off camera going, right, you sit here and I'll sit there, and then just going, okay, everyone pause, and then climbing into the bath? No, I'll do it while I'm doing the scene. Oh, so you're literally like in the bath going, can you? Yeah. Yeah, to, to the chagrin of the actors, yeah. But I think they got used to it. But the benefit of that is you're also keeping the rhythm. So you you, you don't have to stop. How did you and Lady Gaga bond? Because your chemistry together was just amazing. You know, it's one of those things you can't manufacture. If you try to do it, it just takes too much energy. We just, I, maybe it's because we have similar backgrounds. I don't know, you can't really choose when that happens. We have a similar work ethic. Luckily, we were able to utilize all of it for our characters. What would you say is your funniest or most memorable moment from filming? We laughed a lot on the set. Uh, there are a lot of funny people on the set. Dave Chappelle and uh, Andrew Dice Clay. We had four stand-up comics that played characters in the movie, so there was a lot of comedy. Yeah, there's a lot of laughing with the crew. I find that to be important to create an environment that everybody feels pretty open and safe, so there's always gonna be laughing when that occurs. There was also times, a lot of times when there was no laughing, yeah. Was there any pranking that went on? I'm not a fan of pranking. Pranks, I, I never got that. When you have an experience that's life-changing, which this was for me, um, there's so many tokens of memories that, that I'll hold on to forever.